Okay, so in this video what I'd like to show you is how the limit test instruction works. And to get here, what we need to do is just go ahead and go to the compare, and, the compare bin up here. And then the limit test is actually right here, on. it's the LIM. And this will actually bring up the limit test. Now I want you to notice that this is an input. All right, so we're actually going to go ahead and I'm going to show you both ways this works as uh, easily as possible. So I'm going to create two input or two inputs limit uh, instructions here. And now the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and set my limit between um, 2000 and 3000. And how this works is I'm going to put an analog input here. Now this could be a timer, this could be a timer accumulated, a, a counter accumulated, it could be whatever. It could be whatever word you want to compare it to, but in this case I'm going to use an analog signal for uh, so you can see how this would work and this analog signal could be coming off of anything. We're just going to use a generic one right here. So the analog input is I colon 0 dot 4. So what's going to happen here on this one is when that analog signal is between 2000 and 3000, it will activate an output. And I'll just use the pilot light for this. And I will copy this one down to here and just switch it up. Now the limit switch actually works two different ways. When you, when you have the lower number on, in the low limit and the high number on the high limit, it will be on, it will be, the output will be active or the instruction will be true when the number is between, between the low and the high. But I can also switch that. And if I put the high number in the low limit and the low number in the high limit, what can happen is it will be false when it is between these numbers. So now this output will be true all the time unless it's between 2000 and 3000 in which case it will be false. So my pilot 1 and my pilot 2 will have the exact opposite logic. All right, And again this is just a very simple explanation on how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna download this and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so now you'll notice that I'm under 2000. So my pilot light 2 is actually activated and my pilot light 1 is off. But watch what happens when I increase my analog signal to cross that 2000 point. Now you'll notice the green light came on, the yellow light came off, and as I increase it farther and I get closer to that 3000 mark, it's gonna switch off again. All right, and if I go back and forth, I can now control when this light is, when these outputs are going to be activated based on an analog signal. This is how you can use a limit test to control any output or any activation. Okay, so for example, let's say this was a tank, and when the tank was between uh, three fifths and five fifths full, you want to kick on a pump to mix, okay, to mix in some extra product. Um, there's an unlimited way to use these, and it is a very important and very useful instruction that you can use in RSLogix 500 or 5000. It's just a little bit different in 5000. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Thanks.